Hi everybody, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I have another tutorial today. Um, a few weeks ago I made a balcony box which was a die from Simply Made Crafts. Beautiful box and a lot of people asked if I could do it without the die so that's what I've done. Alright, what I've done is I've made because it's going to have three little boxes inside I've made two just to save a little bit of time so we only need to make one more of them but obviously you need to make three all together so I have I'm using this blue card now it's very thick it's about 300 GSM so the card for your little hexagon boxes, which you're going to need three of, needs to measure four by um, 11 and three quarters, all right? For your actual box, you're going to need two pieces of card. You're going to need one piece, which is 10 and three eighths by eight and one quarter. And you need a smaller piece, which is eight and one quarter by six inches if you check out my blog which you'll find the address in the description of the video if you click on the show more underneath or if you're on a tablet or a phone it's just a little arrow in the right hand corner that will have all the measurements as well as measurements in centimeters okay now for the box we are also gonna decorate all the little panels with paper. I have eight pieces which are one and three quarters by eight inches and I'm not sure if I said you need eight of them. For your box you also need, the box has six sides but we only need to have five pieces of paper because that's the bit we're going to attach it to the box. So you're going to need five pieces for each box and there's three boxes so you're going to need 15 little pieces if you want to decorate your boxes and they are approximately one and three quarters by one and seven eighths of an inch. I happen to be using the Making Memories 8x8 pad which is by first edition. Beautiful papers and I kind of get the feeling you could use this for like Valentine's Day as well. Gorgeous. Love this. So I'm using that. <coughs> Excuse me. So I also, we will do the lid as well, but we'll do that piece last. So as I said, we need this to be four by 11 and three quarters for our little hexagon boxes. So we are going to score the long side at one and seven eighths of an inch, three and three quarters, five and five eighths, seven and a half inches, nine and three eighths and 11 and one quarter. Turn it to the short side and we're just going to score at two inches. And that's our little hexagons which you need three of. So for the structure of the box we are going to take our piece which is 10 and 3 eighths by 8 and a quarter and we are going to score the short side, no the long side, so score the long side at 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Okay, so really easy. So, <clears throat> excuse me, have I got this right? Is it the short? Oh, no, it's not. I always get this wrong. Yes, I'm right. Long side. So score the long at two, 
four, six, eight, and ten. Okay. And then this one, you want to score the short side. I think that's what I was getting it mixed up with. So the six inch side score at two and four. Okay. Because this little skinny score piece is going to join onto here. And that's how we're going to make the length of box that we want which gives us the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight panels. And we've just got the lid to do, but we'll do that last. So I'll show you how we make up the little hexagon boxes. So just fold and burnish. Alright, and then we want to cut this little um, rectangle off and then I'm also just going to kind of shape that a little bit. Then we need to cut up all of these little boxes like this, okay? really easy to do and then you want to take your five little pieces and then I just leave the end one where the little flap is I just leave that one blank And then we want to pop glue on this little tab here. And then I'm just going to fold it over and stick this little box together. Now we need to keep it in a hexagon shape. So what I like to do is you need to make sure get these out the way that when you take these little pieces here they join up together and then you would take this and these would match up with these because if you just stick it down just say like this random can you see you're not going to end up with a true hexagon so you need to make sure that they all line up as best you can anyway so I'm just going to start with this one, just a bit of glue on there and then I am going to attach that to there and then hopefully when I come to attach this piece I know that that's going to be even and it will resemble a hexagon. Obviously we've got to hold it together first. So that's what I do. And then just more glue on there. Okay, that's how I do it. And then you should end up with a, a decent sized, a decent shape hexagon, not something that doesn't resemble one at all. And then just press the inside down. So that's your hexagon boxes, which you need three of them. Okay, so we're going to move on to the box. This is really, really easy. So just give it a fold and burnish.
and then all we're going to do is just attach this little piece down to this little tab here so we want glue on here there's no cutting or anything to do on this piece at all And then it's just really a case of attaching your paper that you've chosen. So we should have our eight pieces to just stick down all the way along. So I think I will quickly glue these down. Okay, and then I'll come back to you when that's done. Okay, so that's what you should have. You've got your eight pieces of paper stuck down. Now, turn it over, okay? And the way we're gonna work it is make sure you're sticking the blank bit of the little boxes on to this. So, we have a panel. The first panel, I'm gonna miss it, okay? And I'm gonna stick this on the second panel. And I'm gonna make sure it's kind of right at the bottom you know just really a couple of mil up from the bottom but I'll show you close up when I stick it down Oops. the next one I'm gonna miss the next panel and then I'm gonna do the panel after so I'm gonna miss one and then do the next one and this one I want kind of I suppose in the middle of the box the last little one I'm going to miss again and then I'm going to stick it on there which is the one, two, three, the third from the end and this one I want this probably just a couple of mil from the top and that's how it's going to lay out now I haven't done it but I'm pretty sure you could add more boxes like you could have another one here um, another one up here so you could probably add about another two boxes if you want to just make them the same as this and just I would probably have the other one here okay and then you could see have one there as well but I've just done three for this but yeah you could you could have another couple so I'm gonna just pop glue on the back Okay, and then the second panel in, I am going to glue this near the bottom. Now, you should be able to get it just in between your score lines. Don't stick it, cover your score lines because you will struggle to close your little box here. And you see I've got it just before the score lines and that's how much I have stuck it up from the bottom really just a couple of mil to be honest so I'm going to take the next one and then I'm going to miss this panel and it's going to go on the one to the fourth in from the left and roughly in the middle just make sure you have plenty clearing from here because if not when you close it your boxes are going to hit and then it just won't work so once you understand the concept of it it's really easy and then the last one going to miss one and put it here so the third from the right and this one is going to go pretty close to the top so you can see there I've just got again of just a few mil from the top And that is basically it and then obviously you would put all your little gifts or treats in and then it will fold round 
and it actually wraps around so you've got that goes in there and then you've got a nice double covering and I think that is a lovely professional looking box so all we need to do now is make our lid and then decorate however you want and I'm probably just going to keep mine closed with ribbon but you could put a magnet, you could put a velcro dot uh, you could just make like a little belly band, you could do whatever you want so let's move on to the lid Okay, so for our lid, uh, we need to join a couple of pieces together. Um, so we need two pieces of card. The first one is 11 by 4 and a half inches. The second one is just a little one. It's 2 and a half by 4 and a half inches. On the long side of the largest piece, we are going to score at two and one eighths of an inch, four and one quarter, six and three eighths, eight and a half, and ten and five eighths. Turn it to the short side, and we are going to score at two and no yeah two inches sorry so score the short at two so you will end up with that and just to note that we have a small squares and we have larger squares like longer ones the longer ones will be the top of the lid but we'll see that in a bit. So the smaller piece, we need to score the long side, sorry, the short side at two inches and the long side at two inches. So again, we've got this same, we've got the shorter, square and the longer square and that is just going to join on like that okay that's just to create the size that we need now the only thing that i'm a little bit worried about here is as you know my card is super super thick and i mean really thick i mean you can just feel the strength of this box it is absolutely solid the only thing that i'm a little worried about is when you make this because my card is so thick i'm worried that your lid might be too big unless you're using a really thick card like mine so what i'm going to do is on my blog i'm going to put another size lid just in case this one is too big it may be all right but i just have a feeling that it may be too loose only because my card is immensely thick and obviously you have to think when the lid goes on I've got a lot of card to get you know to get that lid to fit because when I made it I thought oh that lid is huge the sizes but it fits and I think it's because the card but I'm going to put another lid on in case it's a little bit too big for you so what I want to do is I'm going to do a bit of heat embossing and stuff on this as well because I thought it might be nice to make it just a little bit more interesting I suppose but we're going to join these two little pieces together first so we need some glue or tape just down this little tab here and then we're just gonna glue this little extra piece on okay and all that will match up now 
just remember if you are going to heat emboss it or stamp it like me we need to do it on the shorter on the the smaller squares and then I can cut that when I've um, heat embossed it there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little stamp set here which is this beautiful um, little design and you get a lovely lacy one as well this is from Alina Crafts and I'll put the links for them and I have got it already in my little stamp platform here so obviously the card's going to be way too big to get it in but I just really want to line it up I suppose so I've got the because don't forget again we need them on the smaller squares so I may have to move this stamp here now so I want it just somewhere like that okay There we go. I think that looks really, really pretty. So, we need to cut the longer pieces now. So, we need to cut this complete rectangle off. Yeah, sorry, I said I'd get the embossing powder off there because you were cutting it it's not it's because we're going to glue it and sometimes embossing powder it does glue but it takes a bit longer so I thought I might as well just cut the whole thing off so just cut up these score lines going to glue this together okay so that should just match up And then it's just the same as the other boxes you need to make sure that they match up okay so I'm gonna pop glue on here Then you can get a circle punch or whatever you want. I've got a two and a quarter inch punch here. And I'm just going to use the same card. And that's just to kind of make it look a little bit tidy. You could obviously use a bigger circle if you want, but just for the purpose of the video I'm just going to use this size yeah you could use a, a lot bigger one if you want so that is our pretty lid and let's hope it fits <laughs> oh yeah lovely so there we go absolutely beautiful this box but yeah I definitely think yours may be a little bit too big so as I said I'll put the other measurements now you don't need to because it keeps closed with the lid but I've made a little belly band here and I just thought it might be nice to make that 
bit off to make him just something a bit extra. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on here. I'll give you the sizes in a minute. We don't want to glue it too tight. Okay, so I've got my little belly band and then what I'm going to do is again I've just got some cute little die cuts I am using these are from Alina as well I'm using this lovely little heart and when it cuts out it's got the words like love looks like it's engraved in it with a little heart and I am just going to glue that onto the little belly band like that which I thought looks quite cute Okay, so I'm just going to glue that on there. That's adorable. And then I've got this as well. Now this is lovely because it cuts, you can separate it, but I've just left it. You don't need to. You can join those two pieces like this and have the like a butterfly like that, or you can have two separates. So it cuts out as separates. See, it cuts out like that so you could join them together to have one butterfly or you could just have them separate like going up the the page or project or whatever you're going to use so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put mine on the lid so I might have mine just together on the lid like that I think that looks really pretty I'm going to just pop that one there that one there so I hope you've enjoyed it and it's a beautiful box to make so we've got our lovely little belly band that comes off and it rolls out so sturdy this wraps round we've got our gorgeous little lid so all the info will be on my blog and um, thanks for watching and i will be back again very soon with another tutorial just trying to get this little belly band on here there we go so take care and bye for now